there is an opinion that in laptops it is impossible to combine high speed of work, thoughtful design and affordable price. However, the Acer Swift 3 targets all the vertices of this triangle of queries. While the market is dominated by lightweight devices with a bundle of Intel Kaby Lake R and UHD 620, the new product offers AMD Ryzen 5 and Vega 8 for less money. Who would refuse such an offer? The appearance of the laptop is restrained, the case is covered with metal with a rough texture, and on the edges there is a chrome bevel, so that the wrists do not rest against the sharp edge when working. The bezels around the display are zero. 5 cm at the sides and 1 cm at the top. With a 14-inch screen, the model has dimensions typical of 13. 3-inch solutions, which is already quite good. A monolithic hinge connects the structure, where one of the air ducts of the cooling system is integrated. The top cover can be opened at an angle up to 180 degrees, in any position it is securely fixed and does not shake. The thickness of the laptop is only 19 mm, and its weight is small, just over 1.5 kg. Although there are no fancy materials in the case, it was made nice to look at. The display is based on a 14-inch IPS matrix with full HD resolution. It is produced at the Chimay Intellix plant in China. Nothing out of the ordinary, but the viewing angles and 98% coverage of the sRGB spectrum make the screen look good. Specifications CPU AMD Ryzen 5 3500U 4 cores, 8 threads from 2, 1 to 3, 7 GHz RAM 8 GB DDR4 4 GB on system board plus 4 GB in slot 2400 MHz dual channel Video card Radeon RX Vega 8480 to 1200 MHz Display 14, Full HD, IPS, matte. What about the picture? The Radeon RX Vega 8 runs at 1200 MHz, 1. 5 times faster than the Intel UHD 620, slightly outperforming the NVIDIA 940MX and breathing down the back of the NVIDIA MX130. Of course, miracles are not worth waiting for, the recent Rage 2, Anthem and Control are squeaky even at low settings. But you can while away the evening or two for Rise of the Tomb Raider, 35 FPS at 720p, Borderlands 3, 30 FPS, or the third, Witcher, 32 FPS. FIFA 20 and Dota 2 Reborn generally hold up to 60 frames per second, which is just fine for integrated graphics. In Watt Encore, the laptop showed a good level of performance in Full HD at medium settings. Guys, advise to buy a good phone, write your version in the comments.